All right, hey everybody, this is Professor Klein back in the Human Anatomy Lab at Ohio University. And today I'm gonna to bring you a video on the liver lobular model. So, all right, this is the model we're looking at here, the liver lobule, but where is this actually coming from? If I come over here and I look at the entire digestive tract, and some of the organs, what we can see here in the upper right side is the liver, this huge structure here. You can flip it around so you can see the exact structure. And I'm gonna pop it off of there and bring it over to here. Down here though, if I were to take just a little chunk of the liver lobule, that would be a lobule, a little chunk of it. And here we can see the larger chunks and then a really small chunk. So if you were to take just this section here and pop it out and expand it, that's what you would be looking at. So most zoomed in is here, medium zoomed in, and then fully zoomed out would be this liver here. So let's start going through these structures. First off, anytime you see the purple dot, you're talking about the central vein when it's in the middle of the circular area, the central vein. Because you'll also notice on the perimeter, there are some purple dots as well. And even here you can see they're connected. Those are called the hepatic portal vein or in this case, a branch of the hepatic portal vein. Next to it is a bile duct. Next to that is the hepatic artery proper. And those three make up what's called a portal triad. So you'll see purple, green, red, purple, green, red, purple, green, red, all over the place. Those are the triads. Now here you can see it on the exterior of this area, central vein in the middle, all around. Let's give you a side view, show you everything going on, and I'll show you how those go deep in between these structures. So, central vein would be in the middle, only the vein, but over here, green, purple, red, the portal triad, travels together as well. So really cool model, showing all those things, I'll give you a Kind of a 360 view of it here as it travels around the back again. But let's say we look at that chunk and we come into this part. Now where my probe is at right now would represent the central vein. So this right here is the central vein. And I got another video talking about the blood flow of blood, well blood flow of blood through the liver. So if you want to see a video of how do you get blood from the intestines back through the liver into the heart, check out the other video I got on that. But this is just looking at things like the sinusoids. These valleys, these purple-ish valleys here are the sinusoids. And blood would be coming up through this branch of the hepatic portal vein and slowly going through the sinusoids and eventually going to the central vein. So there is this direction that it does travel into the central vein. These are the Kupfer cells. Kupfer cells right here. You can see a bunch of them all around within the sinusoids. You can see those popping up, the spelling of that on the screen for you. Additionally, the liver produces bile. That's gonna be produced in these square-like structures. These square cells are the hepatocytes. Hepatocytes produce this bile. Now, where does the bile go after it's produced in the hepatocytes? Well, first it goes down this long, green, narrow pathway. I'll zoom in for you here. This is called the bile caniniculi. And that's gonna to lead to the bile duct. 
which is part of that portal triad structure. Green, purple, red. Okay, let me give you another view of it here. We've seen it already, but now we know where that bile is produced and it travels out. Green over here would travel down and those merge and merge and merge and eventually come out of the uh the bottom here you can see the bottom i got another video on the biliary system or how does bile travel in the body check that video out of the biliary system but back to this one it's really cool on the side check these sinusoids out on the side here but that's really all i've got for this liver lobule model so hopefully you enjoyed watching this like it comment give me some feedback and hope you enjoyed this video i'm professor klein from ohio university's human anatomy lab thanks for watching